What's up, Facebookers? Uh, got a new pilot and quarter windows. That's what I'm going to kind of show you guys how I do those today. A couple ways. Um, people use a wire, which is a great technique. I've never done it personally, but uh, I've seen the outcome of them and they work great. So, what I do is when I pull these things in, I will take, um, uh, get both my cuts, you know, get the quarter window done, get this window cut. And, but while I'm sticking this window, I will take two tools. I already got them shoved in here. Let me take them out real quick. I will take a triangle card and I will heat it and bend it. So this is, I use for bottom loading whenever I'm using a, what's up guy? What are you doing? I will use uh, like the easy tent from Expel. Uh, it's a great tool, but I'll use this to shove into the gasket on the bottom of these doors, pop it back so I can slide that bottom loading tool in. And I stole that one from Rick Tallman. Appreciate it. So it's a handy little tool. You can grab it real quick and easy, easy to maneuver. Uh, and this one, Orange Crush, I just cut it down, make it a little smaller. It works great for squeezing out small quarter glasses. Uh, so basically, I'm going to show you how to do these while I, like I said, while I'm sticking this big window I would shoot some water in this front corner you know, generally the one of the first things I do I would take this car and I would shove it as far back as I can into that I'll take the second one just to get a little extra distance on it and I'll shove that in there as far as I can so I would do that first while I'm sticking this window uh, now I have cleaned this window, already paper toweled it, all that good stuff, and this has been in there, you know, while I stuck this. So every this back rubber piece is already uh, flexed back enough to allow me to slide that film in there. So I'm gonna take these out and we'll go ahead and stick it. I'll start at this top corner, just give a little flush down, kind of let that water get all the way up in there. Of course, paper towel, towel or whatever get that water off of it all right I will use a tri edge and basically I'll stick the bottom corner down here to the top corner I'll let all that lay flat once that's done this whole back section is just holding it you know folding across my hand I'll shove that tri edge down in this very bottom seal, open it up where I can slide this film down into it. And I'll slide it back as far as I can go. Once I do that, I'll run my triangle toward the back on the bottom of the seal to work that whole section in. And roll the whole top section in there. Have potential spam calling. Nobody likes those guys, so we'll, we'll hang up on them. All right, here we go. So once I slid all that in, position it around, make sure I don't have any daylight anywhere. Look at the other side. Kind of hard to see from that angle, so I can go down with it just a little. Beautiful. All right. little orange crush tool like I said it's a nice little tool for getting a little bit of water out on these small windows we shove that in there as far as we can obviously all the way around make sure we don't have any daylight or water left over. Wipe it down. Alright, here we go. Now once we are done with it, show you nice nice said those plotter 
potter uh, cuts, the, all the ones I've seen, they usually stop that film, you know, about right here, where the rubber starts to touch the window. I like to go back even farther, obviously, because I use that marker, big cuts. So, show you what I got on this side. It's the way she's supposed to be done. So, that is the way I do them. And as always, if you guys got any questions, I appreciate the comments and uh, ideas of how you guys do them. So let me know how you do them. If there's any different from that, I like to try different methods. But hey, I appreciate you guys for watching these videos and uh, appreciate your support. Later, guys.